Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. Um, I thought today I would share with you uh, the silver beads um, from the late Summer Breeze collection that recently launched from Elf Beads. In Mila's own words, um, do you hear the melody? To me, it's all about flowers, music, melody of the nature itself. It's about late summer sunsets, about saying goodbye to something beautiful, but opening yourself to something new. The collection is very romantic. The collection breathes with love. It is alive and speaks to you. And then she asks you, what do you hear? So um, I thought I'd share with you the, the silver beads and then in a couple of days I'm going to upload um, a video with some really nice up close photos of uh, the glass beads. Uh, so let me go ahead and just uh, get started with that. And the first bead that I'm going to share with you is this one right here. And this is called Mystic Peony. And this is a really uh, nice sized, um, I guess, button style bead, um, if you want to call it that. And it has uh, this multi-layered flower. Um, the design is the same on both sides. And one thing that I think is really cool, and I'm going to show you right here, is that on the inside of this bead, there is this circular ring, which really helps it sit very nicely on your bangle. Like even on my charm bar, like you can see, it, it just uh, sits very nicely. And this particular flower, it just has these um, pointed flower shapes and it's just multi-layered. Like it goes really, really well with the bed of roses bead, which is what I'm gonna show you next. So this is the Mystic Peony. Now, in order to show you the bed of roses, I actually need to take a bracelet off of my wrist. So I have um, the bed of roses uh, styled here on my uh, Pandora bracelet here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just take it off the bracelet. Actually, before I take it off the bracelet, I'll just show you a couple of the glass beads that I styled it with. So this one here is called Rusty. And then uh, I'll be showcasing this bead a little more in detail. This is Windmill. This little guy is the late summer dragon and I love him. And then here we have Better Roses. And again, as you can see, like it has that same feature on the inside. Um, so it sits really nicely. It doesn't like flip flop all over the place on my bracelet. And then this uh, beautiful bead here is called Azure. So let me get everything off the bracelet for you. Okay, so here we have Bed of Roses. And this uh, features, again, the same design on either side of the bead. Uh, this particular bead also features that little like I call it a magic ring on the inside, which just really gives that bead um, stability on your bracelet or bangle. And this particular bead has just multiple rose leaves just going around uh, to form like a flower shape. And then like the flower center are just these exquisite little rosebuds. Um, you know, those perfectly formed roses before they unfurl into, um, you know, the, the full bloomed rose. 
but I know a lot of times like the the bud rose um, that is a favorite of many of us and you know to give you perspective like these two look very similar in style um, like you could get one of each and style it beautifully on a bracelet and you know still have it be symmetrical but have uh, different um, silver beads for added interest so again this is mystic peony and this is bed of roses the next bead that I want to share is this beautiful bead here and this is called windmill and it has just this really lovely um, windmill or almost like pinwheel pattern that is uh, continuous and joined together. Um, it is just just beautiful with the oxidation like it is just a really lovely patterned bead that I don't know I just cannot stop looking at it like when I wear it I just love this pattern like it is it is abstract uh, it's one of those patterns that plays well with others and um, it this one does not need that uh, inner ring because the opening itself is more suited, you know, to the actual size of the bangle or bracelet. But again, it's, it's, you know, a very beautiful oxidized bead. You know, it's, it's with that oxidation, it just really makes the pattern pop. So this one is windmill. The next bead I want to share with you is this beauty right here, and it is called Summer Waves. And this one, it's just like, to me, like this is a spacer, but it's not a diminu diminutive spacer. Like it's, it's pretty substantial. I would say, um, you know, going from one side to the other, it's probably a good, quarter of an inch, maybe a little under, but it has beautiful oxidation. Uh, you know, it is one of those beads that your eye can rest on it, you know, on a bracelet design. It has interest, but it's also not so busy that it detracts from, you know, some of the other beads on your bracelet. Like this is one that um, I have one right now. I ordered a second one. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to getting a second one. Um, so I can have two of these on my bracelet. So this is Summer Waves. The other spacer style bead uh, from this release is called uh, the music spacer and this one uh, I really again like I'm, I'm ordered a second one I only have one here and uh, again this is probably you know if I were to guesstimate probably a quarter of an inch from left to right here and what I really love about this bead, aside from the fact that, you know, I have a son in school that is a music major, so this is like the perfect uh, silver bead for me. But I like that, you know, when you look at music, it is on a music staff, and, um, you know, you can kind of see those lines of the staff moving um, vertically and I like that there is a space in between because that is exactly what a music staff looks like and then of course we have um, you know the treble clef there and then we have like an eighth note um, 16th note oh goodness it's been so long since I played music myself I'm probably um, calling these uh, incorrectly um, I probably, it's funny, like if I were to pick up my clarinet and read music, like I, it probably would just come to me naturally, but for me to just say what it is anymore, um, 
no idea. <laughs> but uh, this is just the music spacer. And here, let me just show you the two side by side. Like you can see that they're both pretty much the same size. This release features two barrel style beads. And this one is just simply called the Ginkgo Barrel. And I never knew, um, I was kind of researching uh, ginkgo leaves and, and ginkgo trees, um, kind of researching a little bit to help write some of the descriptions for the new beads. And I never realized um, just the incredible symbolism uh, that is part of the, like the ginkgo tree. Um, this barrel is just beautiful. Like it has all these lovely ginkgo leaves just formed together just to form this pattern, this continuous pattern of leaves uh, that make up the barrel style bead. Like each leaf, you can see the veining there. It, it has just lovely carving and oxidation. And again, this is another bead that's just gonna fit very nicely on your bracelet. I have no problems getting uh, these barrel style beads on a bangle. Um, so I, uh, I actually have my, the other barrel style bead on my wrist right now on a bangle. So I'll show you that here in a second. But this is a ginkgo barrel. Here, I thought I'd just show um, the barrel style bead on my bangle. This is the love bangle uh, from Elf Beads. And then uh, the glass beads that I have it styled with. This is the lavender flower pebble. And then this one is called, oh goodness, um, I know it's flower field. Oh. I've forgotten. I'll, um, I'll put the name of the bead down here somewhere. I know this is one of the flower fields that recently um, released. And here, let me just show you like this particular flower field. Look at that flash um, on the inside. Like to me, it just looks like dichroic glass. Like you see every single color of the rainbow. But this, uh, this uh, video is dedicated to the silver bead. So I'm gonna focus on this one right here. This is the, um, this is the Song of Butterfly barrel. So let me get it off my bangle here. All right, so this is the beautiful Song of Butterfly. And this bead is just a no brainer again for me, just because of my love of music, because of my son who's majoring in music at CU Boulder. Um, and I love the fact, like love, 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 that we have like the treble clef on here. Of course we have all the music notes, but like right here, like this little symbol right here, that is uh, what to me looks like a bass clef and my son plays bass trombone. So, you know, I love having that representation of, um, you know, our bass instruments on a, a bead. Uh, Cause believe it or not, like, you know, of course, all of the higher uh, sound, sounding instruments, the woodwinds, you know, they're lovely to listen to, but, to have to to bring about that that depth in the music and just that overall emotion uh, to the music itself, like you need those those lower bass notes as well, and I just love it. Like this beat, like I just hear like a melody playing in my head when I look at it. It has these lovely butterflies. Like you have a butterfly here. And then as I spin the bead, you have a butterfly right here. And I can just see these butterflies listening to a beautiful symphony, 
being played outdoors and just kind of dancing in concert um, to the melody. So this is the beautiful Song of Butterfly, uh, Silver Barrel. All right, and the last silver bead that I'm gonna share with you is this piece of art right here. And this is called Mila the Caterpillar. And this particular piece of art, in my opinion, um, represents uh, just the elf beads family to Mila. Uh, of course, it has a secondary meaning to her, um, you know, like the little mama caterpillar, uh, you know, carrying and caring for the little baby caterpillars, um, you know, because she is a mother and she's got uh, little ones. But, you know, this particular bead was the bead um, when she announced that she was becoming the owner of elf beads. Uh, I like saw this and I believe she had two glass beads um, beside it from the prior collection uh, which was the the miracle collection and I immediately messaged her and said are is this silver bead coming out oh my gosh I have to have it and um, you know, she said, well, you know, I, I don't think so, you know, <laughs> and I'm like, are you kidding me? I want it, you know, so, you know, I'm sure I am not the only one who reached out to her um, and asked for it because it is just gorgeous. We have this uh, long caterpillar just on top of this little log here, and then we've got all these little baby caterpillars um, on the mama's back there. Um, if we look at it, um, on the back, you know, we've got a butterfly. I mean, we just got all this gorgeous, beautiful detail. And to give a little perspective, like this particular bead is huge. Like it is not something that I would style with more than one or two beads, but like here it is, like here is my Apple watch and here is, um, you know, the bead sitting on top of my Apple Watch. So you can see from side to side how large it is. And, um, you know, as far as the height goes, you know, again, comparing to my Apple Watch, I'm hoping this kind of translates. Here, we'll just kind of sit it, maybe I'll back out just a little bit. Like size-wise, like there, to me, I think that's a, a good comparison for a lot of you to see. Um, you know, this is a very large bead. Like I literally, when I'm not going to wear it, I'm probably going to have it on a special little spot on my desk just to remind me of Mila. Um, Cause she is just such, such a sweet force in the bead community. Um, and I just love this bead. It is just gorgeous. It is a piece of art and it deserves to be displayed. So that um, is the Late Summer Breeze collection in its entirety as far as the silver pieces go. Um, let me know uh, if you've ordered anything. Um, I definitely want to hear uh, what you think of the collection. So definitely let me know. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for a more up close look at the glass beads uh, a little bit later, uh, maybe this weekend. I'll talk to you later, bye.